This video provides another example of how you can use the editing functions to create a customized practice file. And in this particular case, our objective is to take this section of song right here, which we'd like to learn, and create a series of copies of it so we can create loop points for each of them. And we can have one at 50%, one at 60%, one at 70, one at 80, one at 90, and then of course have one at full speed. So once we've identified the looping section here, then we go ahead and essentially delete everything else. And again, we delete by left clicking, holding down, dragging, and then hitting the delete key. And now we've deleted it. There's a little extra stuff that's hanging over the edge. Now that it's enlarged, let me go ahead and just delete that as well. Okay, so essentially now all we have left is this segment here that uh, we'd like to clone several times. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a copy of it. Edit, copy. All right, so we have it on our screen. Okay, so now let's go ahead and insert some silence. And I'm going to insert, oh, since we need to make five sections of this, uh, and each section is about 20 seconds long, five times 20 is 100 seconds of time that we're going to need. So I'm going to insert about 100 seconds here. We're going to insert it at the end of the song. Okay, so as you can see, we have now inserted 100 seconds of silence here at the end. And here is this first loop that we set up. So let's go ahead and insert a second loop here. I'm going to paste because I have this on my clipboard. There's the second sequence. Paste again, and as you can see, we can use a shortcut, which would be Control V. We'll do that next time. Here we are again. Control V now. And one more time. Control V. Okay, so now what we have are one, two, three, four, five sections of this song, all exactly the same. So now what I'm going to do is, in, is to set up loop points around each of these five different segments. So there's the first, there's the second, there's the third, there's the fourth, and there's the fifth. And once I have the loop point set up, now I can go ahead and I can set this loop to play at 50, this to play at 60, 70, 80, 90, and I guess I should have added um, another one out here to get us to 100%. So let's go ahead and do that. There it is. And there it is. So I have those loop points now set up. And I can go ahead and now program the loops to play at the speeds that I want. The other thing I can do after I have my loops set up and the settings for each of these set as I would like them is I can export these. And that means that these changes will be permanent. And therefore, I can then open this file in any other program. And it'll play back this first section at 50%, then at 60, then at 70, then at 80, then at 90, and then at full speed. So again, it's a way to create a customized lesson, which you can use both within Song Surgeon as well as exporting it and being able to use it out of Song Surgeon.